<sighs> Iggy, you know what really pisses me off? Well, I could probably think of a few things, I guess. Uh, Every time I go outside, I see packages on people's decks. What makes them so special, Aggie? Why do they get free packages and my deck is empty? I just don't know, Jimmy. If only there was some sort of piracy of the porch where two down on their luck boys could go steal the packages from those who have more. Well, they say, love thy neighbor. I really haven't been feeling the love, to be honest. In fact, I think I've been feeling a lot of wrath and a lot of envy just because of the wonderful things I've had going on for myself without packages, okay? But I think it's about time we got our share, don't you agree? That's right! We should both go out there in disguises, find a package each, and whoever gets the bigger score wins the day. No. The Big Package Showdown! Yeah. If there's one thing that I love, it's a big package. <laughs> you know what, that's a great idea if we need to defend ourselves, if we get misunderstood in our game, because it's a game and sometimes the neighbors are gonna get tired of playing it, but we're not. <laughs> okay, we're ready, let's go. Looks like a good haul, Iggy. Oh. I think my package is bigger than yours. Listen, I'm all about measuring a man's big package, and I can tell you I think I'm packing a little more idge, if you ask me. Well, the real challenge will be who has the better shit inside their box. Let's find out. Well, Iggy, should we start with my package or your package? Well, if uh, this world and the way it treats me has been anything to go by, my package is always going last. So oh, that's uh, you got a lot of tape to go through there. So uh, somebody named Lewis paid forty-four dollars and sixty-five cents to send this package. So it better be worth it. I bought the package. Oh, it's a a Pokemon <laughs> battle uh Whew. thing. Oh my lord. It's Somebody stole Rusty Cage's Florida <laughs> license plate and threw it in a box. Are you gonna put that on your car when we steal the next packages from somebody? I can, this would be really great. You know, uh, if it hasn't been reported as stolen, they're not gonna look and see if it's actually been stolen. So uh, <laughs> by the time this video comes out, we'll have to have done some really legal things using this, but you know, in the meantime. What's written on there? Ooh. In leech speak, it means dead dag. Don't, and don't dag was inside. the beaver from the angry beavers. Oh. And that... I'm angry because I get no beaver. Okay. <laughs> you got to read between the lines, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Florida, though. I heard they're doing a lot of great things down there right now. Oh, we got a wacky, waving, inflatable arm fla flailing tube man. Wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wait, a wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man? We're about to find out. Well, I broke it, but. <laughs> I just want to put the battery in. <laughs> Insert the battery correctly and always follow the toy and game instructions. I think you were supposed mm. to screw drive it, uh, but you pile drived it instead. That's right. I think it sensed your alpha male energy. You had to do what you had to do, but maybe you could blow it up. Oh, yeah, it's going. <laughs> there you go. That's what you <laughs> came here for, people. Speaking you of my package, it. you know what? Everything just reminds me, you know? I got a Brazil t-shirt. I think that's screaming your name, Aggie, if you want to oh, yeah. throw that one on. Meanwhile, I've got, looks like a cat shirt with my boy Blaze on there. Look, I'm a human. Well, I wanted to wear this until I saw it said human on there. I don't know if I like that Reddit speak as much, <laughs> but I Listen, guess if you know I have what? to. You got a heckin' Katarino. You got to <laughs> give him what he's owed. Yeah. 
I think I feel that Brazil kicking in. Time to overthrow wait, something. Wait, 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 wait. I bet there's gonna be 30 comments on this video saying, come to Brazil. Oh, Jimmy, <laughs> come to Brazil. Iggy, come to Brazil. Oh, oh my God, are these pants? Looks like an apron. What's that oh. string on it? Are those some Michael Jackson Moonwalker pants? Swag me out. Woo, swag me Ooh. out. Woo. He knew we were gonna film this on the hottest fucking day of the month. <laughs> Biding his time, waiting patiently. Are these nunchucks? What the fuck is this, Aggie? Here, you take one end, I'll take the other. <laughs> we'll figure out what this is supposed to be. Uh, I think this is a jump rope, actually. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. We got a book called Raising the Dead. A uh, doctor encounters the miraculous. Okay, I'm gonna have to hear about that. On October 20, 2006, a middle-aged auto mechanic, Jeff Markin, walked into the emergency room at Palm Beach Gardens Hospital and collapsed from a massive heart attack. Wow, Blake, oh, oh, there Blake, he is! Blake. Oh my goodness, he just collapsed! He rose from the dead! <laughs> <laughs> the magic spell works! Uh, I'm sure that this book tells a great story that really did happen. Oh yeah, there's a chapter called, let's see, I Need Everything Jesus Can Give Me. I'm sure this is an autobiography. That's right. Non-fictional story. By the Chauncey Crandall. You might have heard him on the Snake Bones podcast. Accidents in medicine happen all the time. Oh my goodness, red pill alert. <clears throat> That's right. That's why I don't trust him. I haven't been my entire life and I'm never going. But Chauncey Crandall, he might make me reconsider God's <laughs> medicine, which is the real truth. Chauncey Crandall, that sounds like a like a really <laughs> shitty fake name. Hey, that guy, come on. Poor guy. He's got... That, that guy, he's, he's seen some heart surgeries. He's got that look in his eyes. Yeah, that looks like a man who has seen death. <laughs> Oh, here we go, Aggie. The Carolina Reaper peanuts. As if I wasn't literally sweating my fucking balls off. Let's get those open. The people deserve it. One nut in my mouth, one nut in the other thing, you know. It's how I was born, and I'm not ashamed of who I am. Well, I'm the type who likes to uh, double nut. Look how fucking huge these peanuts are. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> those are not peanuts. You know what? We got them boulders. It could be, because I've had this, well... We stole this off somebody's deck, but hypothetically, it could have been sitting in somebody's shed for a year in heat. <laughs> Perhaps the heat made them expand or explode or something. Heat uh, treated. You know what? Age to perfection. Well, I'm going for just as big, so. Let's get a little, little focus on that nut. Okay. Oh. Bottoms up. Mm, instant. <laughs> Mmm, the winner takes it all! <laughs> the loser standing small! <coughs> this silent victory! I'm sure this oh. Sunny D Vod could not have sponsored, but we'll wash it down real good. <coughs> mm. Ooh, not so good. Didn't help? Made it worse? That's inflammation. <laughs> yeah, I bet! <laughs> okay, while we're hot as fuck. Should we play a game of civics <laughs> flashcards for the naturalization test? Hmm. So this is what people study if they want to become an American citizen, pretty much. Yeah. So I if think, you can't think... answer all of these questions, Aggie, you will be deported. And I'm not kidding. I think I just saw 200,000 people in line to take that today. <laughs> Shout out to the border. Uh, okay, Aggie. In what month do we vote for the president? November. What is the name of the president of the United States now? <laughs> <laughs> well, You're gonna have I'm to gonna guess go with... when the game came out, motherfucker. Well, let's, let's, don't, don't look. Let's see if we can figure this one out, folks. Well, uh, I know something called the real truth, all right? Not that fake stuff that they want you to believe. So we've had the same president since 2016. Donald John Trump. <coughs> uh, close, but actually Trump became president in 2017, so the answer is Obama. Oh, can't believe it. What is, oh, this is a tough one. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States? Uh, Good luck getting that one, folks. Joe Biden. Yeah, okay. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? These are easy. Joe Biden, that's okay. why he's the President. Yeah. Uh, what are two rights of everyone living in the United States? The right to party. Nope. <laughs> uh, I had to fight for my right to party. That's what D.D. Snyder told me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We got the right to have guns and to get pussy. Uh, bare arms was there, and I assume freedom of assembly means to assemble inside the pussy. That's right. Uh, what do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? To God, that's right, we love him. You know what, close enough. Uh, 
I think you passed the test. Now the Ooh. real question, can you pass the Shit's Creek trivia game? Hey, after uh, Hyde from that Ed 70 show, he did those naughty things. Ashton Kutcher, isn't he a Freemason? He might be. He's not at the ranch anymore, that's all I know. He looks too young for 50 or whatever he is. I think he might have had too much adrenochrome. Do you know what Shit's Creek is? By yeah, any, it's any Ashton chance? Kutcher and Hyde and uh, the guy from Marlboro commercials. Is it Shit's Creek? I, uh... Isn't Farrah Fawcett in there too? No, it's a TV show in yeah. Canada and I actually have uh, one of the characters on a candle for some reason. Oh no. What? But it does have Ashton Kutcher in the. He's not in the show. That's not. That's not that one. No, it's the it's the Jewish old man from the American Pie movies. Uh, what's his name? Oh no, Eugene <clears throat> Levy, I think, or something. Here's trivia. You pass the civics test. Let's see if you know about Shit's Creek. What are things that Moira misses most about her old life? Uh, when she had a body count of zero. Well, I, I don't think this is actually. <laughs> this might not be trivia because there's no answer on the card. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this game works, but you pass. <laughs> uh oh, more civics lessons, Aggie. All right, read it up. Let's go. <laughs> you want to eat another peanut real quick? No, I don't. The Korean War began in 1950 when the North Korean Army moved across the 38th parallel into South Korea. You know, they were the bad guys then. Now we realize. You know, it's a big difference now in 2023. Maybe they weren't so bad after all. Maybe they had a few points. So the 38th parallel was a boundary established <coughs> after World War II. Tell me how many Americans know where the 38th parallel is on the map at this point. I learned latitude and longitude 30 years ago when I was in school. Nowadays, these Zoomers, it's TikTok from like three minutes old. The doctors have got masks on. They're doing a lot of this. The baby's just popping himself Not out. Not a single angle can see you. <laughs> <laughs> he said this before I had seen a single episode of Seinfeld. I am now on season six, and uh, I'm excited to do a 300 uh, jigsaw of Seinfeld. I see uh, George Costanza being painted like the French women. Nowadays, the French women, I saw them on Eurovision. They got a beard down to their knees like Rip Van Winkle. Well, Eggie. <clears throat> Back in the 70s, they had a different hair down to their knees. Didn't start on the face. Okay, Eggy, you need to solve this puzzle and every minute, <laughs> every minute you have to eat a peanut until you finish. Go! <coughs> Remix. Woo! Time warp. And then like, I'll pull up like, a Google image of the puzzle completed and just have it on screen in front of you. <laughs> oh, here's a good movie. Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. You seen this one? I haven't. I saw White Castle, but... I should watch that. I need to memorize the floor plans because I'm going to be there pretty soon, I think. Well, in this one, uh, the, the Neil Patrick Harris is having a house party where everybody's bottomless. So it's, it, he's this gay guy, but there's a bunch of pussies, like these women with their fucking vagina out. Okay. It's a you know, pretty good movie. Not bad. Go check it out. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Eggy! Eggy, do not open this fanny pack, whatever you do. You know. are, you're gonna be upset. No, oh, this is the top zipper right there. Oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my lord. <coughs> <laughs> Show off your goodies, Iggy. No! Oh, we got that. <laughs> One chip challenge 2022 edition. Uh, it was, this probably was New Stale Year's. Stale chip. <laughs> New Year's when this got placed on that abandoned house we sold us from. We got Wicked Reaper. Carolina Reaper Chili Peppers, the hottest in the world. <laughs> uh, five peppers plus two free. <clears throat> hey, you know we have to sample all of these right now, right? Bean Boozled, uh, this looks like Twink Soy Jack getting it where the sun don't shine. So is this there's a, a lot of sun shining on his face from this ultra heat. Is this like uh, each uh, bean, you don't know if it's gonna be spicy or not or what? Is it like a trick? I oh, know they, they clearly <coughs> label which is which. Okay. Well, no, don't zip that up, Peggy. You better crack those bad boys open. It's time to sample. Oh, what, no. What do you want to eat first, buddy? Uh, the <laughs> lowest the level of that. <coughs> you really done I will, this no, I will literally, you know, if we want to play ball, I will eat another pepper before I touch this shit. This is death. This is literally vomit mode right here. I want to at least get to my box. Uh... You got jalapeno, green one. That should be a simple one. Okay. Green with the sparks. Should I just take a handful and say fuck it? <coughs> I might just say fuck it. Confirming to the camera here, it's the real deal. Can't really see it, but close enough. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of them and say fuck it, cause I'm, well, I'm well, about to eat that chip anyway, so I'm you doomed. Are? <laughs> of course I am, Aggie! Well, it is your box again. These four people Waited. sent packages to a random person to be enjoyed, and we need to enjoy them. Bottoms up, buddy. <laughs> I'll be the actual taste tester. Cheers. Okay. Earthy. Nasty. The hell paint was very true to form. Earthy. Pleasant taste, really. Oh. Mmm. <coughs> oh. You get in the five way mode? Oh my fucking god. I'm just gonna give the jalapeno a moment to see how it how it's kicking. It doesn't feel very spicy right now. Wow, this dude is trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> Fuck it. I already put it in my hand. Habanero orange. For the culture, no liquid on deck. You know what I'm saying? We're going delirious and I'm serious and I ain't fearing this. Let's go, baby. Flavor mode. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There's no way I'm eating these fucking peppers. No fucking way. Uh, is this going to actually, like, cause me death, Aggie? Because <laughs> usually we have, like, a hot sauce. I've never just eaten the pepper. It said severe heat lasting five minutes. Uh! Yeah, we've already been streaming for almost an hour, so I mean, what's five more minutes, right? Monkey gets double. Fuck you, Josh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Three, two, one! Ooh, there he goes, there he goes. Well, is this. If you don't want to do double, we should probably give it at least. I'm not doing fucking double, fuck right. Joshua. Then we should fuck give it, him. We should probably give five minutes of. Uh, well, let's, you know, yeah, you can't charge super chats back, so now, ah! <laughs> now we can just. Ah! <laughs> Listen, you know what? Ain't no bitch my blood, pimp. A thousand, eleven hundred twenty six people showed up to pay four hundred dollars for this. Oh my fucking god, it's infecting my body! <laughs> I swear if you guys do an iDub style apology, we'll have to feed you peppers and tie you to the tracks. <laughs> I will never apologize for a joke I've made because the intention was to make people laugh and you should never Sorry. apologize for that. <laughs> oh, it's See, truly and I'm bad. Instantly. It so. gets worse as it goes, dude. I'm in the most pain I've been so far. <laughs> uh. Uh, sour and hot. <laughs> <coughs> Milo's walking <laughs> tamales corn bar. Why is there more spicy <laughs> food? Is, is it spicy or is it normal? It's a uh, red salsa bean. This tamale has 250 calories, 12 grams of total fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 410 milligrams of sodium, 31 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, Two grams of sugar and six grams of protein. And we're I've been your host, out. the Egg Pit. Thank you. See, Thank you. I guess you just kind of squeeze the goody out of there. And I don't, does that look like something you want to eat? <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Yeah, looks nasty. So we, you know what? All right. <laughs> <laughs> it says you can enjoy it cold. Is he is heating and eating the way to go? No. <laughs> This was so good. Was you still good till 2024? Mine is. You can have mine. <laughs> I'm good. Where did, where did, where did oh, it go? It's in the trash. <laughs> where it fucking belongs. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that was worse than the spicy <laughs> shit, dude. Just disgusting. You want to try it, man? You can have it. I'll give you a whole buck fifty if you can eat that whole thing right now. It's worth it. It smells like uh, the inside of um, like Walmart chili. In a can, which I eat regularly, so I know. All right, composure regained going in. It's uh, it's like a bean flavored sponge. It's like if you put a sponge in vinegar, you rinsed out the vinegar flavor, and uh, you put it in a bucket of beans. This is what it would taste like. It disintegrates in your mouth. <laughs> Mine was dry as fuck. Well, I think it's dry, and then when it touches my saliva, it instantly digests and disintegrates in my mouth. It's like, mm. you know, it's got a little bit of a sandy thing going on. I have a little bit of a suffering thing going on. <laughs> you gonna keep eating that bad boy? Oh, um, he's insane. He needs that dollar fifty bad. 
Mm. You can fish mine out of the trash for dinner mm. if you want. You're coming with these walking tamales in a bag. It tastes like bean sand. Uh, you know, that sounds like it could be a new slur, but I'm just bean describing your food. Sand. <laughs> we have here one of the greatest stand-up sets of all time, Eddie Murphy's Raw. Uh, you think white boys like us wouldn't know and appreciate this? You're wrong. I've seen it many times. Back when he just casual uh, homophobia was popular. Yeah, you cannot do this today. <laughs> Uh, barbershop, the next cut, no thanks. <laughs> Listen, if you're gonna appreciate the whole culture, brother, you're gonna appreciate the whole culture. That's all true. of it. Eggy, we have a Would You Rather book. So I'm gonna bust out some of these okay. for you. Let's go. Okay, would you rather live in ancient Greece or the 25th century? Uh, ancient Greece, yeah. Why? Because I, 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 because you think that the boys looked like that one girl that went viral on Twitter and you want to rape a little boy, huh? Is that why? Uh, you sicko? No, in fact, oh. I hate sickos more than I love ancient Greece, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that I want to go to the Coliseum and see people be eaten by lions. Lions are probably going to be extinct by 25th century. The entire earth's going to be smog. Uh, would you rather win $1 million in a lottery... Mm. To buy your uh, gothic clock tower dream mansion okay. or meet the love of your life tomorrow. You know, LN shows up to your door. We'll go with the million. You think that million bucks is more valuable than a woman? <clears throat> Listen, back, <clears throat> back, let's say ancient Greece, for instance, when you met the love of your life, you kind of laid the train track, so to speak. You set the path, you set the tone, you know, you put the structure up, boom, and then the ball rolled. And chug a chug a choo choo. All right, you understand what I'm saying? But nowadays, I don't know. <clears throat> Once these SJWs started crying when Trump, when uh, we got a real president in office, you know things got a little bit out of control. But a million dollars, I got a grip on that, and I could take that right to uh, put it all on high limit and make a successful YouTube career out of it. So I know where I'm going. Would you rather be immortal or have an unlimited amount of money? Money. Money. You don't want to live forever, Aggie. Nope. Hypothetically, with an eternal life, you could uh, acquire that kind of money anyway, right? <gasps> ah! How did he know? Right when Eggy got to my house, I made him play Family Feud with me on the Switch, and now we have the, I guess the, whatever this version is. The all new Platinum Edition, it's ready to roll, featuring Steve Harvey. Yeah, the one that we were playing did not have Steve Harvey on it. Another fucking card game. Whatever. Okay, let's <laughs> open it up. Yes, immortality, eventually one trillion years would go by in the blink of an eye from what science and facts and logic have told me. <clears throat> so I'd rather just uh, be able to live a life of pure indulgence and hedonism like uh, Dan Bilzerian and have like 12 heart attacks by the time I'm 35. <laughs> Listen, I'm already going to be 32. <clears throat> I have a short amount of time, but I know I have the willpower to have 12 heart attacks in the next three years. Name something you might trip over in your home. <clears throat> uh... The cord for stage lighting. Cord! Number four answer, 16 points! Woo! Oh, don't tell me it's more spicy shit in a bag. That looks like gum. Okay, um... Oh, it's sour cream and onion crickets! Uh, oh no! <laughs> I think I know somebody who might want these. Cheddar cheese worms. <sighs> Ooh, scorpion inside a sucker, that's a cool one. You want the sucker scorpion or the... I think... What's in that one? Another scorpion? Is that a dragonfly? I think they're both scorpions. Yeah. The power of heterosexuality compels me to not suck another man's sucker. <laughs> okay, all right. Aggie. Strawberry bugs going in. Let's see if they're all they're cracked up to be by the World Economic Forum. Mm. Eh. Not very good, to be honest. Tastes kind of like medicine. Yeah. <laughs> But that's right, because this is the most nutritious new source of protein under the this sun before it gets blocked out by Bill Gates. I don't know, what is the purpose of these? Do people enjoy, like, eating a sucker and then having a delicious <laughs> bug to eat? Like, a, the center <laughs> of a Tootsie Pop, but it's a bug? Is that who it's for, or is it just, a, like, a prank? Is it do Mexican <laughs> people like this shit? Like, who is this for? Hispanic viewers, my proud Brazilian brothers, please sound off in the comments below. Yeah, if you've ever eaten a scorpion sucker. Uh, it looks like he might have come from some sort of uh, community where these fall off of trucks. Because <laughs> we got a DVD player here. <laughs> the Siege Box. Seen a few Sopranos episodes where these were gifted to people. Just a... Why? Why just a big plain white tea? 
What am I, I in a band? It tracks with my previous statement. I think he's just is trying to expand your closet a little bit. He's trying to expand my <laughs> body right now. Some people who are very wrong, of course, uh, were indicating that you seem to have mammary development in, in a recent image. <laughs> oh, they're not wrong. So compression, I heard about that. It's medically sound. Hey, I put on a plain white tee. I think you need to join the band, buddy. Did people catch on that when I get shirts, or I just keep putting them on, and now they're gonna like send eight shirts at a time to <laughs> fuck me over? Okay, uh, another game up for debate. Prove your friends wrong in oh. wacky debates. This could we should do some episodes of the podcast with all these games, Eggy. To be honest, like these are actually like the Would You Rather book and stuff. Hey, if you don't know, the Simi and Jimmy's Treehouse channel, full of podcasts. Me and Eggy have probably done over two hundred hours of content for you on there. What should you never bring up on a first date? Your YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't let them know. Unironically, yes. Yeah. Um, oh, you're supposed to debate me, Iggy. Oh, you just uh, lost the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, I just lost the game. Oh, throwback. No! Throwback. <laughs> no! Anyways, no, because uh, from my experience, if you're really, uh, let's say, hypothetical here, you're morbidly obese with a whole bunch of severe, incredibly debilitating character flaws, but you have some people who follow you on YouTube, you know what? Uh, there's going to be a lady out there. I'm not going to say that that it's anything but poison and anything but, uh, you know, basically a straight up landmine from 007, sticky one. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> fact being, you know what? If you're already going for the bottom rung anyway, it could work in a beneficial way. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake, Inferno Triple X Beef Jerky. Eggy, there's no excuse for this one. At least the chip, there's only one of them. You want some jerk jerk? Hey, yeah, I'm sure this uh, scorpion sucker is probably anti oh huh. Let me just see. What kind, of, what kind of level are we talking about here? Yeah, let's find out before I Made with it. the hottest pepper in the world, full reaper pepper in every bag. Um, there's a skull of a T-Rex shooting flames out of its mouth. <clears throat> Listen, you know what? They said fossils aren't real. Uh, then explain this. That's what I thought. <laughs> Carolina Reaper is over 2 million Scoville units, so over 2 million, and it's dropped into my package. Well, we'll, uh -oh. we'll, re we'll rediscover it soon. Uh, so to be a specific, Carolina Reaper mash. Made with Carolina Reaper salt. Oh, it's also got cayennes and habaneros and ghost pepper and Thai chili flakes uh, and tamarind and chili pepper extract. Uh, is that your way of saying, yes, you're going to eat one? Or yeah, yeah, I'm okay. going in. <laughs> I'm, I'm so desperate to get this over with, please. Well, gotta find a, a... Yeah, match me. You don't get one way too big. I might have to separate one. Well, this is not that much bigger, right? Uh, it's got straight yeah, up... It's got good. seeds on it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, cheers, YouTube. Why is it so soft? It's not beefy or jerky at all. Is it old? This is like mush. It actually is best eaten by today, so we're right on time. Literally today? You gotta be shitting me. Since beef jerky lasts like five years, uh, it might not have been the most popular choice. Ah! Wow, how the fuck it goes bad today, and it's not chewy at all, it's just mush. <laughs> and there's some chew to it, it's just tender is all. I think my insides are tender as. As of uh, everything we've been eating on this video. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, well, we might like faint. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just getting worse. Oh my god. And finally, we have kinetic <coughs> sand, which this seems kind of cool actually. Kinetic sand. Eggy, are you dying? You look like you're dying. Uh, we might play with this later, but Eggy. We finished my package. <coughs> we need to compare it to your <coughs> package eventually. So a score out of 10 based on how much we enjoyed the contents of the package. 10 out of 10. Really? 10 out of 10? It seems like we're suffering and not enjoying the contents of the package. I, I live to feel. Hey, he, he sent me a, a bunch of useful shirts. He gave me a DVD player and some great movies. I'll agree, 10 out of 10. Should we <coughs> see if your package can compare? Or should we, maybe should we take a little break? <laughs> uh, uh, I hate sickles more than I love whipped cream, to be honest. <laughs> That's the face of relief. 
Did that help at all? Really? Wow. Choking on this big creamy squirt has really uh, calmed me down <laughs> before I get my hands on this big package. <laughs> I'm glad we found the answer. <laughs> okay, Yankee, we gave my stolen package a 10 out of 10. Let's see how your box compares. You know, potentially, we're only halfway through this video, Aggie. Oh my god, there's spicy food in there! Fuck you! No! Hold up, wait a minute. You know what, in honor of an American icon, <clears throat> and because I love her so much, I'm gonna set down the chud head for a moment. We have an authentic African-American oh, hero. Oh fuck, is that worth money now? Aunt Jemima with the choco cherry pancake recipe. Straight to eBay right now. It, well, <laughs> out of respect for Aunt Jemima, I might have to it's keep that. It's only been expired for two years. That's fine by me. What a beautiful <clears throat> woman. They're trying to remove black women from successful products. I find that racist. Am I right, Aggie? That's right. Some might bullshit. <clears throat> you got your Mickey Mantle baseball card. You get it framed and graded. Where is the grading system? for Aunt Jemima mint condition. They don't want to see a sister out here winning, but we do. <laughs> and speaking of a real Nubian queen. Oh shit. <clears throat> oop, oop. <laughs> we got a royalty crowd here. Uh, a little bit of technical difficulties. Straight from the coronation. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one too. We can both be kings. It's about time. My head would break this anyway. So we're doing it proper. Oh shit, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, this is proper. This is how we're meant to be, I believe. Thank you, subjects. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's grab one of these fine motion pictures. Sons of Anarchy, season one. And it is on DVD. I thought the clear case meant Blu-ray, but it is DVD now that I see. Finally, some real Kino. Laugh Out Loud collection. Anger management. Gamer icon Jack Nicholson, he'll drop his spaghetti out of his pockets at GameStop or NBA Courtside. He does not care. And Adam Sandler, also starring in You Don't Mess With the Zohan. Both A at the height step. of their powers, screaming at each other's faces. I remember Anger Management, pretty good movie. Zohan, I really hated it when I saw it, but I was like 12. <clears throat> Listen, you know what? Middle Eastern men who do hair on Instagram now, this was their... Awakening. Oh, and I thought you were going to say it was their 9-11. <laughs> but was... I, I think the Middle Eastern <laughs> men probably had a different 9-11 at some point. I think Adam Sandler might have been involved in all three productions. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! The Cosby Show! <laughs> a real American hero. It Was it open? Or, no, it is open. Eggie, should we beat L.S. Mark to the punch and because rank every episode no, of The Cosby Show? We need to bring this to attention. Uh, I don't know if this is right. Because it says here season two. This package is already open. It's got season three in here also. We got a two for one special. Oh my lord. This was a tampered package. Now it just says disc one, it looks like. For, so I don't know if they're supposed yeah, to be we multiple. We might be this. missing half the season. <laughs> but but uh, that's exciting. You know what? Once he busts out the pudding pops, uh, that's when we look away from the screen anyway. They're fizzing for I, I some reason. I want to see the, the episode when he makes a special barbecue <laughs> sauce that makes people fall asleep, <laughs> which is a real episode. <clears throat> First off, season six of The Cosby Show with all three discs. I heard that's the best season. No. And, and the way I see it, even if all the rumors are true, he made Kino television several seasons in a row. Uh, just give the man a break. He's old, he's blind. Just let him do it. Nine films over 13 hours, that's right. Children of the Corn and Halloween. Nine films on one DVD. How do they even make that are, work? Are there five different <coughs> Children of the Corn movies? Yes, there are. No, there's six of them. We got $100 of a currency stronger oh God, than the U.S. Rich. dollar. Made in China, also very similar to the U.S. dollar. <clears throat> All right. A few quick round bursts of Visit Kinos. God's Little Creatures featuring Martin Sheen, Noah's Ark, based on a true story, as we all know. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's a good movie. Dodgeball, Grab Life, Buy the Ball. Yeah, one of my favorite comedies <clears throat> of that era. It's also already one. open, but in a widescreen DVD. Listen, you know what? Somebody was probably giving their friend some of their favorite movies to pass mm. on a cherished hand-me-down gift, and cherished it is. <clears throat> now, 
Something that we all know I hate sickos, put this YouTube. country in a much better place. <laughs> when we saw these men getting frisky in that tent, uh, you know, the first cut, it rolled down the hill. They had to clone the AI android clones to make these men come back to life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Listen, that's just what I heard on DirtyLittleSecret.com where everything's real. <clears throat> er erotic cinema's never really been my forte, you know, no. I just, not for me. But speaking of an American hero, we have Will Smith in Stitch. And you better stitch your lips shut if you start talking about his wife. That's yeah, all I got Which one say. of us is about to get slapped, Iggy? <laughs> do the honors. Go for it, motherfucker. All right. I don't give a I'm shit. I'm going to slap that sweat off your face. It worked. Speaking of American heroes that are also people of color, we have Barack Obama's... Oh, that's his O-Bummers. <laughs> <laughs> O-Bummers, Gray Tyst, and there's a... Some kind of... What is this, Bigfoot in here? The Cosby oh Show's in there. It's a Splash Mountain Fast Pass that's good until 2015. So really? Cool. Wow, I can make it just in time. <laughs> Hold on a second here, but this is the Cosby Show season one okay. disc. I'm but we also, all. but the, but the other one was also disc one, wasn't it? So we have two. No, that was, I thought that was season two. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so all we're right. good. We're, we're getting the full Cosby experience eventually. Obama's great Tice hits, and he did he even autographed it for us. I think this was slipped in. He must have known where we were going. Mm -hmm. I think I saw him walking down the street, skipping down the street when I picked up this package. So he was. Oh, the neighborhood. Obama dropped off the package. <laughs> yeah. Captain America, the first Avenger in yeah. Japanese. Oh, okay. That That's right. Or is that Chinese? Uh, I can't tell the difference. They're all the same to me. <laughs> Now we're up to seasons three and four of the Cosby oh, Show. Thank goodness. I was worried also we're a tampered miss package. Him. Listen, no offense to Bill Cosby, but you know, with his history of tampered packages, I just gotta make sure every time. <clears throat> Kung Fu Panda, no, Chop Kick Panda <laughs> and friends. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess you know when you fail after a couple lessons, you know, you know, you're from a low-income neighborhood, you don't have the money to take all the rest of the lessons. It is what it is, YouTube. I see more Cosby kids. Good. <laughs> I want the whole series of Cosby. Yeah! Oh. What the fuck is that? What is that, Inky? What the fuck? Uh, What's that? There's a dead spider on this and some kind of goo with liquid. I think this is a, literally a bioweapon. What the fuck is that? Give me that. <laughs> I, I need to smell it. <laughs> is that Jacob? Here, what, what, what? The fuck is in there? That's disgusting. Doesn't look like it leaked at all, so there's that. Ugh! The fuck? Now I'm not opening this in my house. The fuck is this, you sicko? <laughs> We're season one of the Cosby Show. I guess this is the other ones that weren't in the that weren't in the Obama. We got disc two. <laughs> <You're> just mixing <laughs> and matching where the uh, episodes go. I guess. I feel like I'm looking through a, a Bill Cosby ingredient list. It's just all over the place. Mm. Things are missing. Things are added. All right, and we got season four, so we're still looking for season two of Sons of Anarchy. Any commentary on this one? Oh, select episodes, all right. Ron, he got it back in him by number three. And why is there some guy's mail in here? It's just mail. For real? <laughs> it's literally just, just threw his junk mail in the box? <laughs> is this who? <clears throat> There was yeah, a, there for was best a results, store in a cool place. This was sitting in a shed with a hundred degree heat. <laughs> it's, it's the way that, this is Happy Christmas from the Church of Scientology, shipped to Niambi Muhammad. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Niambi! Did we just dox the, the package sender, Mr. Uh, Muhammad? Yeah, well, Uncle Betty's still out here, but I guess he had to do the Uncle Ben and Jemima combo. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shout out to Muhammad. He's hooking us up with the uh, rare foods. <laughs> The Declaration of Independence, the authentic one? reproduction oh. on from the National Archives. So there's no map to a national treasure on the back. Oh, is it? Do you think this Four is how score big and it seven actually is? Yeah. This is a, I always imagine it for some reason being way bigger, but I guess it would just be a normal kind of big sheet of paper. You know, back like 20 years ago, a second grader could read and write that entire thing. Uh, in cursive. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for our people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them. Is that dissolve? Yeah, it's hard to read. With another. And two. A it, pine it, it, among is, the powers hey, of the earth. Is this King George reading the, the declaration <laughs> and he's fucking pissed? <laughs> he he's, can't believe what he's reading. They did what to my team? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when my kingdom is being clumsy. God damn them! They tried to tell the colonies, but I was too stupid to notice! <laughs> I can't read this dumb shit! 
can they write it in <laughs> legible print? To be honest, the colonialists are jealous of my kingdom. They, they, Fuck the colonialists. They wish they were as popular as King George. When I go among the peasants, they say that king smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, you know, in fact, many a lady of the tavern has commended my aroma as most pleasant and admirable. Fuck colonialists. <laughs> Furthermore, <laughs> fuck sickos. <laughs> We need to do videos with King George, or was that even the king, king at the time? King George, bro. Which one? Which king was the one? Was it George? I, I, I failed. Oh my goodness! I've not seen Monkey all of Monkey Magazine, uh, Hamilton, and uh, this one had whoever was shipped to was cut out. He yeah, cut out his address. Well, Smithsonian so. official Monkey Magazine. <sighs> wow, it's just pictures of chimps. <laughs> the whole thing. Cool. My kind of book. Here's a little quick more round of, uh, we got Blades of Glory on DVD. Okay. Ooh. And we got Pitch Perfect also <laughs> on digital video disc. Now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson appears to have been mauled by a pit bull. Hmm. His uh, chest has what appears to be bite marks and all kinds of scratches. His leg is t twisted in one and removed the other way. <laughs> he has uh, butt cheeks I where can't smell he ought not cooking. have them. There's just nothing but garbage <laughs> left. It's literally just his Richard garbage. Richard Gere and Jody It's Fox. just his fucking garbage! <laughs> I think mine wins, because this is just full of trash. His used 3D glasses <laughs> from a movie. Fusion chicken flavored rice. Woohoo! <laughs> Millions of these shitty fake paper money. Is this a switchblade? Oh, no, it's a harmonica. What the hell is this thing? You don't know whose mouth that has been up to or whose asshole. Hey, I have health insurance. Whatever I just contracted, we're good to go. But actually, uh, now this is nice. I appreciate that. Thank you very yeah. much. Complete stranger. More Cosby Show. We got season five. Thank goodness. Sitting Ducks season one quack pack. Uh, we got O'Reilly Auto Parts uh, <laughs> cards. A George Foreman Grill user manual. <laughs> this is like what I send to my fans. <laughs> Is that a piccolo? Let's do it. <laughs> We're doing a duet here, Aggie. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll be here all night. Oh, baby, big ring! I'm so good at food, it's a bunker oh! I'm not swimming in. Oh! Super Bowl ring! Oh, That's Lord. right! What if this was a legit one? I mean, it looks pretty thick and big. Cardinals ring, Aggie? That's probably not Super Bowl if it's Cardinals. Hey, you know what? Kiss the ring, baby. That's right. King Jobra in the house. Well, Aggie, that brings us to the end of the large package showdown. The only question that remains is, which of our packages was truly bigger, more well-endowed, and more enjoyable for the ladies? Well, you know, I feel like my package really fit me. I think there was a calling because, you know... It it's full of trash and <laughs> Cosby show? It's full of a lot of lengthy things from the past that not many people are interested in anymore and the rest is just garbage and human waste. So it's really a package for both of us and our careers. <laughs> just trash nobody cares about anymore. I'll say I really like these crowns. I'll probably use these in videos or something, so I appreciate that. I probably will check out the Cosby Show now. Uh, I'm excited to have this Aunt Jemima box, actually, and the Uncle Ben. But Musical ultimately, instruments. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to give your stolen package... I got it. I think you, you had it by a little bit, for sure. Yeah, this one is just bogged down too much in literal trash. <laughs> like, the entire bottom of the box is still full of trash. Uh, I'll give you a little quick peek. Uh, I'm just not gonna... I'm not gonna bother taking all that garbage out. Well, Aggie, uh, we have a lot of physical, bodily recovery to do. We have to hide from the police because I think they might be hunting down some package thieves. Should we get the hell out of here? Yes, but I want to say one thing real quick. I think this is actually good here. So this mines 
there was a panel here, Changing Minds, How to Admit You're Wrong, which was misspelled. Moderated by Roaming Millennial panelists Tim Pool, Melissa Chen, and Sargon of Akkad. Are you fucking kidding me? Tim Pool spelled yeah. the word you're wrong on his panel? How to Admit You're Wrong. Yeah. So I guess, uh, hey, we have original... <laughs> So this stuff, it looks like garbage. I'm sure it is garbage, but maybe if we look at it a little closer, we'll have some real Tim Pool archives and artifacts here. So you know what? I think maybe also just like me, it looks like garbage on the outside, but when you take a look a little bit closer, you might get a laugh or two. Thank you to the people who let us steal their packages, and if you would like to send us something to open, P.O. Box 473! All the other, it's right there. Thanks for tuning in to another hilarious episode of The Mailbag. Eggy, you got any final thoughts? Remember, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Remember that. Be yourselves, kings. Do your thing. Peace out. Okay, this is what the aftermath of uh, the mailbag looks like. Just completely decimated. Can we grab My the room? camera so people can see how... Uh... How shitty I look? <laughs> how you suffered for your art. Where'd my crown go? Where'd I throw that bad boy? Uh, am I sweating through my shirt? Yeah, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Now I gotta clean up this mess, so who's the real loser? Huh? <laughs> Only a real king can wear a crown like this one, okay? They don't just give these to anybody. That's right, you, you gotta to receive earn it, it. It's stolen mail. Yeah, you have to earn it by being born into a royal family. It's tough work. Mm-hmm, that's right. I'm gonna go get naked. Peace.